OMG, it's that guy! Hello everyone, I am back and glad to be so. Today's video comes to you in four parts. Part one, the end of my vacation. At some point I will actually be telling you about the rest of my vacation in which my cousin got married and we got to spend about four or five days in beautiful Oregon. For the purposes of this particular vlog, I am going to tell you about the end of the vacation where we went on the flights from hell. I'm not a big fan of flying. For a number of reasons, I don't like airports, I don't like crowds, and I really don't like being 30,000 feet in the air. I have to take Dramamine every time I fly, otherwise I get sick, um, and I don't like taking Dramamine. So there are really a number of reasons why I would prefer to just to travel by land. Unfortunately, it was the fastest way to get to Oregon, and we had to be back here because my brother started band camp the next day. So essentially, we were forced to go directly from my cousin's wedding reception to the airport in Portland, where, and it was about 12.30 in the morning when our first flight took off. Now, I say our first flight because we were ended up being on three. The first flight went from Portland to Minneapolis, where, as you already know if you watched my last video, I lost my camera. I assumed that my camera fell out of my bag on the plane once we had landed in Minneapolis. Um, fortunately, there wasn't time really to go back for it once I realized it was gone because our plane arrived late because it was delayed and we basically had to sprint across the Minneapolis airport to get to our next flight, which took us to Atlanta. We flew then to Akron, Ohio. We got, ba we got back into Akron at around noonish and our luggage got there about four hours later. So yeah, all around not a great trip. Uh, we did eventually get our luggage ba back, however, I did not get my camera back. This is a new camera, which brings me, of course, to part two, cameras. After about a week and a half, we decided it was about time to go get a camera. Now this camera that I'm using now is actually the third camera that we uh, <clears throat> ended up getting. We went to this, uh, generic type warehouse and uh, can I just say if you're looking to buy electronic devices go to Best Buy don't go to some out of the way place um, even if it looks like you're getting a better deal there just go to Best Buy they know what they're talking about so we went to this place uh, and we found this uh, fairly cheap camera um, but we found out that there was a reason that it was cheap we got it to the house and realized that it didn't have all of its parts and it really wasn't a very good camera at all. So we took it back and exchanged it for another camera, a Canon. We, we found out that that camera was actually too advanced for the software on my computer. It wasn't really compatible with anything and I would have to end up buying a whole bunch of different things if I wanted to continue vlogging and putting things on YouTube. I actually did do this vlog on that camera, but unfortunately that footage will never be seen on YouTube because it's not compatible with my software. At this point I was feeling a little bit uh, resentful towards the whole technology electronic device industry, but that's a rant for another time. So we went in and the, the guy that was there uh, was actually, you know, pretty knowledgeable, um, probably a little bit too knowledgeable because he again was trying to get, you know, he was trying to sell me all this stuff, um, including new editing software so that I could make my videos better. I will be the first to admit that I wish that I could have different editing software than what I have, which is Windows Movie Maker, which those of you who use Windows Movie Maker will probably agree that it pretty much sucks but I have it, it works, and I know how to use it. All I wanted was the camera. So I finally went and I found this, which is pretty much almost identical to the camera that I had before. We got it, we took it home, realized there was no charger in the box. And so we called them up, they found the charger, I went back the next day and picked it up and brought it home. So now I have a working camera that is charged and is recording me talking to you right now on YouTube. Hi. Part three. You might notice that there is a uh, a little bit less to my background. Um, my sister is no longer here in the house with us. She went back to Bowling Green a week ago. The classes actually start this next coming week at Bowling Green. Um, but she went back because she's an honors fellow helper person and she had to go and set things up and attend meetings and do all sorts of crazy stuff and that sort of thing. So she's been doing that all week and helping freshmen move in and all that sort of thing. Also happening this week at Bowling Green has been uh, Fundy's Week for the Falcon Marching Band and it's been my first time not being there for that and it feels a little strange. 
Part 4. This is the part of the vlog where I talk about me. As I said, I won't be attending my college uh, Falcon Marching Band Fundies Week. However, for the last couple of weeks, I have been attending my high school uh, marching band, also the Falcon Marching Band. I've been attending their Fundies Week, which is just known as band camp here at... Uh, Hillsdale. I have uh, been tutoring over the summer, as uh, some of you already know, uh, and I have agreed, uh, since I'm not going anywhere yet this summer, which I'll get to later, um, I have agreed to help uh, Mr. Taylor, our band director, out with our uh, marching band this season. And so I've been at the band camps, I've been working with the trumpet section, trying to make help them not sound like wimps, and I've been working with uh, people on the field and marching and getting style and placement and all that good stuff. I will be uh, helping them periodically throughout the semester. Also, uh, I have decided, I haven't I actually made the decision quite a while ago, but I haven't actually announced it uh, yet on YouTube, but I have decided that uh, instead of looking for a full-time job this year for teaching, I'm actually going to be a substitute teacher for a year. Uh, as soon as my license comes through and all that bureaucratic stuff happens. Uh, and then next year I will start grad school probably also at BGSU. Uh, I think that's everything. At some point I will be putting out a video about my vacation. Unfortunately, of course, my videos and my pictures were lost with the camera. So unless they call at some point in the near future and say, Hey, we found it, and they send it back, then there will not be any of my pictures or videos, but I do have pictures from other people, so I might be putting those up there. We'll see how that works out. But uh, in the meantime, I believe I am going to go to bed. So, glad to be back, and I will see all of you at another time. And happy birthday, John Green.